So hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Project Cars 2 video. In today's video we're going to be looking at the 1998 Toyota GT1 around Road America. Now if you joined me in my last video where I divulged uh, all the secrets from Classic Physique and his controller setup, you'll have realised that this is the video that I produced for the ghost that I set the lap in. If you haven't seen that video, I certainly suggest watching that video if you're using controller. And if not, let's get on with the video itself and driving the Toyota. Well, what can I say about this car initially? There's a lot of uh, turning oversteer, uh, trying to get the power down from the rear. It's also quite tricky with this car. Uh, turning in very much a lot used uh, using the brake pedal just to try and get the car to rotate and definitely try and allow this car just to free wheel through a few of the corners uh, just while it's finding its grip levels. A very hard car to find the perfect setup for this one and still a little bit of a way off uh, trying to get anywhere near Classics Physique's uh, lap time in the low 154s but I managed to get into the 154s which took a heck of a long time to do but I'll leave you with the lap itself and then we'll have a look into the setup and actually drive around the circuit and I'll just point out a few key areas around the circuit. So let's get on with it. As you can see just getting into the 154s knocking about a tenth off each sector time uh, bringing it to three hundredths better than my previous one so let's have a quick look over the setup and see where i managed to get this car to actually start working it was a real nightmare to set up obviously we're going to be running the soft tire and as per usual no surprises with going slightly harder on the front compound or the front tire pressures uh, as opposed to the rear the brake pressure definitely uh, works better. One of the unusual ones that works better with 100% brake pressure, but you're still gonna have to understand that there is no ABS, so you can, you can lock up the brakes. Uh, so the brake bias just set so that it can get the car to rotate a little bit and we're not locking out those front tires. It's so much easier. Front brake ducts slightly open uh, just to allow some cooling to go on. And the rear downforce, I tried this in a few settings really, uh, but ended up with uh, four being the better of the rest. I think three does work all right as well. The caster angles, again, really steep caster angle, uh, just to try and get some more camber uh, through the turning phase of the corner. Tends to make the wheel feel a lot heavier. 
camber at the front uh, running absolutely maximum and the ride height is set as low as it's going to go i think really to be honest springs a uh, fairly soft setup for this one uh, seem to run a little bit better using a softer setup and the rear camber just to try and get some acceleration as well down those long straights not going as far as it could go uh, but just trying to get some straight line speed really out of this car as per usual i'm using the uh, mclaren gt3 wheel uh, so the steering ratio is fairly low and the toe angles really just to get the car to accelerate in a nice straight line just adding a bit of positive toe at the rear and some negative toe uh, but as you can see the anti-roll bars are really soft setup didn't seem to uh, want to run a hard setup at all this car just a few minor changes to the dampers uh, and the bump stops just to try and get the car working in line with the suspension as you can see the boost is absolutely maximum and the radiator is closed out as far as it goes a few changes with the engine braking not running it as fully as low as it goes because i do like to freewheel in a few of these corners and the uh, gearing ratios have all been adjusted according to get the best out of the car really uh, the, the power ramp and coast ramp you'll definitely see me coasting through a few of these corners which is quite unusual but it is much better just to just to sort of ease the car through some of the corners just to wait and see where the grip levels are and that's the setup guys let's uh, let's move along to having a drive around the circuit so as i'm sure like many of us uh, while you're looking at those loading screens you always look down to the right hand side and just see who's got the fastest lap time around the circuits and it's always the gt ones that feature uh, through any of the gt classes uh, so you'll always probably see classic physique's name somewhere there but yeah let's get on with this lap so approaching the corner here and we're going to be dropping down into third gear try and keep in third gear there is a tendency to want to go into second but third gear will hold through that corner coming up into fifth gear and then again dropping down into third and then into second for this one but just ease third gear around before you're changing into second just carry some of that speed in third gear before finally dropping to second gear obviously we're going to be flat out along this section and I think the gear change works best almost if you just as you're going into the red light uh, changing up and then there's a, there's a tarmac change as colour we're just dropping down into second then all the way down into first as we come through this corner just before we go over the rise of the hill just braking just to steady the car as we come up and over the hill don't run anywhere near as wide as that sort of just holding on to second gear i think second gear could be held on to through that corner but i did drop down to first sort of flat out through that section with a tiny lift and then just braking at the two uh, number two board on the right hand side all the way down into first gear chuck the car really close on the left hand side there to come into this one to sort of try and straighten the car up in third gear looking for the camera in the middle of the uh, corner there that's just sort of your, your uh, point to start really accelerating out of the corner all the way up into third gear into fifth before we throw it into this corner with a little lift and then flat on the accelerator taking the car as fast as it goes through here i don't think i get up into sixth gear braking at the number four board all the way down into second gear and just allowing the car to roll and then gradually feeding in the accelerator does have a tendency to want to oversteer in that section a few little lifts and then back on the power as we come through there braking at the number two board and then all the way down into second gear trying to pick up that inside curb a tiny bit and then just flatten the power it seems like such an easy lap but it's so hard to get into those 154s i think i was around 157 for such a long time uh, before i actually got this car um, to to a point where it handled but anyway i'll leave you with the replay as per usual and thanks for joining if you haven't yet subscribed please do hit that subscribe button leave a comment in the comment section or if a future video you'd like me to feature and thanks for watching ciao for now